What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today we are at Camelback on the Ambiante course. They just did overseed here and they're currently doing it on the Padre course. So Ambiante is the only one open and it's fresh out of overseed. So not too sure what to expect, but we're going to do a little nine hole shot by shot vlog for you because it seems like that's what you guys really like. So it is much harder to film, much harder to edit, but if this is what you guys want, this is what I'll give you. So it's just me today. Um, the course is super packed and there's a nine some, like three groups ahead of me. So hoping we can finish all nine holes should be fun. Thank you Camelback for having us out. <laughs> all right, so here we've got hole number one. Starts out dog leg left and it is a par four. I don't know what tees I want to play from today. The other thing is I'm going to try and get my yardage up with my driver. I've been like so short on my driver lately. Um, I think we're going to play from the, probably the green or maybe we just make it easy on ourselves and just go tan today since I have not been practicing or playing much. Let's go tan. Let's make it a little more fun. I want to see how far I can um, hit my drive. So tan overall is 6100 uh nine holes is just over 3000 so pretty short so this hole is 363 it's cart path only so i'm gonna try and keep the ball nearer the cart path okay so today is really not the day to be working on my yardage i guess my carry but the rough out here or like the fairway out here is so thick just because it is out of overseed so probably not my greatest idea but good thing we're playing it shorter I'm gonna play this new ball, the Titleist, um, the Dash Pro V1X or whatever. I don't know, maybe some of you know what this is. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I heard that like people are loving it and it would be good for me to get more yardage. So that's what we're gonna try. Okay, let's just go now. Okay, well, that was piped. Um, not only was that piped, but that felt so good off the face. Like, I already like that ball. <laughs> One shot in. This is a problem. Um, these are not crossing at the right times. So literally, I feel like there's no way I'm not gonna get wet. Uh, yeah, definitely got the camera wet. That's so annoying. Sorry guys. All right, we've got definitely in the wrong club, 148, okay. All right, so 148, I'm just gonna choke down a six iron because I know that I'm not gonna get a lot of roll and I'm kinda on a weird slope. I got a really unfortunate bounce i mean i hit that like pretty thin like pretty weird i mean i didn't warm up or anything so it's to be expected but i hit the edge of the bunker and it just like ricocheted back into it so hopefully i have a decent lie can't see it but that was pretty good i'm happy And she got it. All right, hole number two is a par three and we've got 147. Let's see. Looks longer than that. 155. So, um, I'm gonna hit my six iron again. Hopefully a lot better than the last hole. actually worked out really nice. So far I'm loving this golf ball. Um, I seriously think that's like six feet, maybe a little more. What a shot, you guys, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, that's literally about the same as the last putt. Six, seven feet maybe. Ooh, yeah, okay, well. All right. 
That one just broke a little more. Hole number three is a par five. Wait, right? Yeah. Par five, 488. And it's pretty straightforward. It looks like it's more open on the right side than it is, but it is not. All right, 235, if you guys can't see that. 235 to the pen, and the hole was 488. What is that? It's like 250. So I'm happy with that, especially with the grass, you know, overseed. It's just fuzzy. So I feel like I hit that a lot further than what I have been lately. I've been hitting them so short, you guys. Okay, so there's the pin up there. So obviously trouble is the bunker to the right because that's like the landing zone. So I'm aiming more towards that left bunker. I'm not going to reach the green, obviously. So I just want to have a good angle at the pin and I'm still going to hit my three wood though. That is literally exactly where I said I didn't want to go. That's great for us. <laughs> All right, there it is. And there's the pen. Don't love that for myself, but it is what it is. 69 yards, again, have the wrong club, but we're not going back, so I'm using my 80 yard club. That was a pretty good out. Honestly, I like that, especially since I couldn't take a full swing at it. That leaves me with <coughs> quite the putt. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. Quite the bummer because I hit a great drive, hit a great shot out of that bunker, and just couldn't execute. So, whatever. I really hate bogeys on par fives. Like, that has to be avoidable in your rounds. Okay, hole four, par four, and it is 333. I just you have got to be kidding me <laughs> so obviously i hit this mound and it kicked this way so that's unfortunate i've got 97. i'm going to club up a little and hit my pitching wedge oh shoot it just went right back into the crap mm -hmm. I'm regretting my tee shot now. I honestly cannot even find that ball. This stuff is so thick. I just went walking through it, which I'm so stupid for doing that. So I'm gonna have to take a drop and now there's people on the tee. Okay, so basically these guys behind me like hit into me and are getting frustrated, like thinking that I'm taking a long time because I'm filming, but I'm keeping up with the group in front of me just fine. And there's a nine sum, two groups in front of me. So like, it's not me and I'm actually playing super fast. So anyway, I'm not a member out here, so I need to be courteous of everybody, but they're like yelling at me to hurry up. So I'm just gonna hurry up. So I'm skipping that hole. I'll take whatever you guys want me to take. Hole number five, par four, 264, really short, but you have to be strategic with you, where you're placing your tee shot here. Literally hit that as hard as I could. But I think that's great. Honestly, look how beautiful it is out here. Only 39 yards. Um, pins in the front, which is a little difficult on this hole just because there's not a lot of room there, especially with the false front. So I need to make sure I really get it up there. That's the goal. I'm not upset over that. I think that's a, a smart play rather than leave it short. Turn. <clears throat> Did 
dang. Not a bad par. Hole six, par four, is 380 from these tees. Mine right at that bunker, but I think he'll stay short. The ball is right there, pin is right up there. I am 151, I'm gonna hit my six iron again. It's a blind shot for me, so you guys are gonna have to watch for me. I think that was good, hard to tell. I feel like now going back to this, the regular Pro V1X, it almost feels like a little heavier, I don't know. I don't know anything about that other ball, so I don't know what it's supposed to like, how it's different, so. I don't know, the feel seems a lot different to me. I've got about a 20 footer now for birdie. Ugh. All right, so this is hole number seven, which is a par five. This thing's not working. Par five, 540. Is so piped, so piped. Okay, three wood in hand. I have no idea how far I am. Much, 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 much better. That is how I want to hit my three woods. I'm 300 out from where that three wood was. And what did I say this hole was? Um, 539. Yeah, so that one was shorter. All right. Am I going to learn how to bring the correct club over here or? 86 yards, I'm hitting my utility, which is my 90 yard club. Right at it. Okay, that was a good shot, I'm happy. I'm definitely glad I went and got that club because my um, pitching wedge would have definitely been like off the back. All right, got an 18 footer for birdie. Oh, just caught the lip. All right. Hole number eight is a par three and it's definitely longer. It's 190 and the pin's in the back, so it's gonna be even further than that today. I was wrong, that pin is actually in the front, and it's only 180, so I'm going to hit my seven wood, um, which I think should be pretty much perfect. That is so striped, and it is right at it. Oh my God. Um, I can't see the where the ball is anymore. <laughs> I'm just going right at the pin. I could see it and then all of a sudden I can't see it. So, um, <laughs> oh my God, how crazy would that be? I don't think it's in. I think it's probably just behind the, the pin because I didn't hear the pin jiggle at all. But can you imagine? Also, shout out to Blue Tees for that yardage. All right, it's not in the hole. <laughs> it must've just rolled right behind the pin so I couldn't see it, but. That's okay. Go a bit. All right. I do actually tend to like this hole. Actually, oh my gosh. So here's a good story. This hole I was playing, I forget who I was playing with, but um, this group in front of us was on the green and they were letting us play through. So they had us tee off and apparently my ball landed and was rolling right at the pin, but hit someone else's ball who had already teed off from the group in front of us. Um, and he was like, without a doubt, that would have been a whole one. I'm like, oh, thank you for telling me that. I wish you just wouldn't have said that. All right, last hole. And I really would love a birdie since I have not had one yet. It is hole number nine, par four, and it's 360. Pops that one up a little bit more. 
but it's right in the middle of the fairway. So I can't really complain. I really don't like wood tees. I don't know why. I just hate them. Let's blame that pop-up on that wooden tee. <laughs> Okay, 118. I did bring the correct club. I mean, I brought four of them. Um, we're going to hit, I might hit my nine iron. I could probably get away with the pitching wedge, but I'm just, I've been clubbing up all day, so. That is right at it. I mean, hopefully that had enough spin on it, but that was such a good shot. <laughs> Oh yeah, that did sit. Okay, let's make a birdie. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how close to the ridge that is? Um, living on the edge. All right, I got about nine feet. Definitely a makeable putt and I really want this birdie. <laughs> oh, okay. We did it. <laughs> All right, so I had one bogey, one birdie, and whatever you want to call the hole that I skipped. So overall, pretty good round. I'm happy with that. Um, haven't been practicing, so whatever. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of these, you guys, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Bye.